can't believe it. That's Clone Force 99. This is Wrecker, Hunter, Echo, Tech, and Crosshair. Obviously, we are different. We're all you're getting. Ha! We're all you need! They call themselves the Bad Batch. Experimental Unit Clone Force 99. The defective clones with the uh, desirable mutations. This is one meeting I don't want to miss. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Dad Batch Podcast, Episode 1. My name is Steven Schultz, and I am your host in the pilot seat today. And of course, with me, as always, we have our other Dad Batchers, your space daddies. First up, <laughs> I thought it was obvious, he's our very own Sour Patch Kid. Joe, how are you, sir? I love Sour Patch, and I can't stop. That, it's a problem. <laughs> and next up, he's more machine than man, and he's the only Echo in here. Ramy, how are you, bud? <laughs> doing, doing good. How are you? So, I'm doing good. good. Thanks for asking. Good, good to be here for official episode number one. Oh, I know. I can't believe it. We're growing oh. up. No it's mistakes. So quickly. It's this like is episode one. It's like first grade. He's a driver. He's a flyer. He's a painter. Alpha ignition. John, how are you, sir? Yo, I'm good. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Thanks for bringing. Thanks uh, for bringing the we're energy. Fine. We're all fine. <laughs> I, I, we're all fine here. How are you? And last, but certainly not least, our cuddly crosshair himself. Some call him Sith and ain't easy. I call him Blackie. Brian Cook. How are you, bud? Fantastic. I'm cuddly today. Nice. Oh, you're always Aww. cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, it's wonderful to have all you guys here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, hey, before we get started, uh, I just wanted to thank you, the listener. We are super stoked to be doing this. Um, we are very, very excited to be sharing our conversations with you. It's our first real episode. Uh, it's not the pilot <laughs> episode, guys. Don't mess we up. So we have so much to discuss. We have so much to talk about. Um, in the first episodes, uh, we have some really great segments planned for everybody. Uh, later on in the season, uh, when uh, season two of Bad Batch starts, uh, we that's when we're going to get really uh, a deep dive, discuss, and dissect the episodes. Um, so we appreciate you. Uh, we hope that you share us with your friends and your family. And uh, and that's it. Guys, you, are you excited? Yes. I yeah. I, I want to say... Oh, you want to say something? Go ahead, bud. Or... Go ahead. I, I just wanted to say thank you as well, because everyone's been really supportive uh, a lot of people heard the the pilot episode, and um, it's been really positive reviews. So thank you. Uh, say, just echoing what uh, Stephen said, basically. I mean, there were there were listeners from all around the world, um, you know, uh, numerous countries. Uh, there were lots of comments, good feedback. So and and feedback that showed that people were actually genuinely listening to the whole thing, which was really really cool. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of people uh, shared specific things we were saying, and they related to them really well. And they also liked our origin story. So if you didn't listen to that, uh, go ahead and go back to the first episode, or I guess you know the pilot episode, and, and listen to that, and then you can come back and listen to this. It's super sloppy too. It explains everything. It's yeah, it's bad. <laughs> but go ahead and listen to it. Uh, we had a good time, and you will. Too. Don't judge us by our pilot episode zero. This is the first episode. So judge us by this one. No, but please don't judge. Don't judge us at all. No let's, pressure. Let's maybe no let's pressure. maybe wait till the end before we tell them that. You never know. <laughs> Got a lot of time. All right, to guys. Mess up. We are ready to get in the groove. Let's start chatting. Let's get into it. How is everybody doing this week? Uh, Brian, let's start with you. Oh, of course. Right when I mute my mic, mute my mic. Um, I'm good. It's uh, what is today? Wednesday. It's only a few days since the last time we did this. Although, no, no, it was a week ago. That was a week and a half ago. Sorry, my dates are messed up. I'm good. Kind of have a chill week from work and uh, trying to enjoy the last bit of summer here and and uh, wait for it to cool off a little bit because it's hot. <laughs> oh, gosh. We established that 
at great <laughs> at great length last week. Um, is well, that the new? I, I sent you. The I sent you guys the picture, which I'm sure, like whatever, we get into segments later of uh, my rangefinder from Crosshair. It melted in my a bin. A little limp after we went to the Comic Con. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Oh, it, it is still, still there. Yeah. And it kind limp. of went back, but um, yeah, I need to heat that up. So, Is the scientific word flaccid? What is it? Um, yeah, limpy. Limpy? Yeah. Limpy. It's limpy. <laughs> That's the medical term. Crosshair has a limpy fin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it on my end. John, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Um, I've been working a lot, my regular job, so I'm, I'm kind of beat. Um, other than that, great. Um, working on helmets, paint, painting stuff. Uh, working on other stuff. Not not much, but yeah, just yeah, everything's good. John, you allowed to talk about the the cool the extra job that you have painting some really neat stuff for stuff. a certain franchise. I don't think he can talk about stuff. The hel- no, wait. Can you talk the helmet? No, 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 no. like the, stuff. the cool stuff. The other. The other stuff, Mero, like like the things that we keep. no, I no, you can't that, talk about that's that NDA stuff. And oh, I guess okay. I have to respect it because it's a, a a binding contract that I signed. Okay, that's well, stuff that's on. getting edited out now. Thanks, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> now people are curious. Now they're going to want to follow. Yeah, well, I, well, I didn't say anything. Yeah, so you're good. It's fine. It's the pharmaceutical he's, suppository he's keeping, industry. He's, he knows <laughs> it. Yes, he's going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's not props. It's something else. Okay. But yeah. Anyway, well, Joe, how you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, summertime, so my boys are back from college. Anytime they're home, it's just I got a good vibe. Um, I have about one more month with them. One of them does some really cool fishing, so we've been eating like really fresh tuna from the ocean. Oh. It's incredible, dude. I'm obviously Stephen, you and I. Oh, actually, all the guys were big sushi fans, and life is good when there's TFTI. There's life is good when there's fresh fish in the house, but um. But yeah, I'm good. Still building tech season two, having fun with that, learning some new stuff, and we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Joe, are they they both home right now? They're both home right now. Yeah, right. we have about one more month, and then they'll they'll one will go to Boston, the other will go to the Bay Area. They'll spread. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. Ramy, what's cool. been going on? Hi. Uh, not a whole lot. I since the last time we talked, I I finally got everything moved. <laughs> out of the storage unit that was down by my old house so which was you know, nothing like adding to the stress of you know celebration by you know then adding a move literally you know days apart from it so we uh we moved our house a couple months ago i had a bunch of stuff in a storage unit that was still down there by the old house got all that moved um i finally feel like i'm completely moved in now because i don't have this thing kind of hanging out there and I actually trooped last night, which I think was the first time I trooped since uh, what? since celebration. So nice. Of course, because I live out in the middle of nowhere now, I had a two and a half hour drive to get there and back, but uh, got oh. got to go to an event, which was cool. So rad. That's rad. I had uh, a scary incident that happened to me this last week. I was uh, relieving myself in the bathroom as one does, <laughs> and. What? I thought I, number one I or number two. Been, it was number one. Okay, just making sure you're one. setting the table. Bloop. So. Bloop. Bloop. What type of relief? Bloop. I was Bloop. standing, and then I was standing, and then I had to drop to my knees with the most immense pain. And the first thing that ran through my mind was, "Oh my God, is this it? Have, have I reached the age for kidney stones?" Oh. And so, oh. like, I'm I'm on one knee and I'm panicking, but the pain wasn't going oh. away. It turns out I just pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> oh. Oh. But I've had the okay. worst back pain for like the last five days. And it's like, well, glad it's not kidney stones. Though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like an old man just running around. But the I've house got saying, oh, my back, my back. Okay, I got to ask. So you were standing I... there essentially not moving, <laughs> and you pulled a muscle in your back. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You know, you know what? That's how it I'm happens. Just, I'm just asking. That's how it happens. I'm defending Stephen because that happened to me uh, a couple months ago. Actually, I was. Uh, I think I was lifting my 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 kid, and I, I did a really simple movement that I always do, and it was like, uh oh, and something clicked in my back that it, it was a muscular thing, but I couldn't move. I couldn't. I could barely breathe because of it. It was crazy. Oh, it was a really. So it was a really it, good right? one though. I was holding it all day, and yeah. <laughs> 
You guys are old. I paid the price. Yeah, it was too too much relief. Oh, jeez. All right, guys. We're well, old. Yeah, we are. We're, We're a bunch of dads that are getting old. We're going to be the granddad batch here before long. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by the end of the episode. Like old man Rex. Right, old man Rex, dude. Well, Straight up. Like I said, it's good to have everybody here. I love catching up with you guys. Uh, let's get into this jam right here. This garbage is nothing like clone armor. Looks a little tight on you, old man. Yeah, well, at least I know how to wear it. All right, and that's our weekly workbench. So let's see who's working on what. Uh, Ramey, let's go first with you, sir. All right. What's on the workbench this week? Uh, been working on Echo Season 2 stuff. So I laid down some paint today. So I started with a shoulder pauldron. So I've got nice. Uh, oh, so wow. Got color on here. So sick. He's got, he actually has three, two on his right shoulder and one on the left. The left one and the underneath one on his right shoulder are pretty much just normal echo paint job. But then he's got the color coming in on, on the one that's on top of uh, his right shoulder. So On the cover. Yeah. So wow. uh, having two, two pauldrons is kind of in with the Bad Batch for season two, apparently. So. Do you have any blue in your armor? Uh, not that I've seen yet. No. Nope. Okay. No blue. So I don't think so. He, I don't think. He at least what we know now. Right. Con- continuing to print pieces and laying down some putty and yes. up lines. I've got this the animated uh, back piece. But what I'm really excited to show you guys, and it's so much lighter mm. than the version. Of, of course, it's already done. Oh, he's been saving it. Oh, oh the backpack. This is yeah, excellent. He hasn't said a word about it. For... Yeah, normally I'm sending everybody. Yeah, so, so like, just, look what's printing. Look what's printing. And like, describe what you're. Yeah. So this. No, is, d- describe what you're showing right now. Yeah. Okay, so this is Echo's backpack, uh, which happens to be the same model as Tech's backpack. Um, but the fact, as you can see, I am very easily holding it in front of me at arm's length, and I'm not like buckling under the weight. My season one. I can't see because this is an audio podcast. My season, well, or is it? <laughs> As you can see. Right. So my season one. Right, so describe. <laughs> my season one backpack yeah. weighed a ton, um, like literally crushing weight, and because it was not hollow. So this one is completely hollow. Um, it's printed in multiple pieces, and tech, you're going to like this. I know. All the stuff, all the no way. All the Sour Patch Kids I can. Describe what you just okay, showed yeah, us. So. There's going to be video for this, right? We're, we're recording video. So maybe, yeah, but some people are going to be okay, listening. Okay. So, uh, so I, so. I figured out a way to hide the hinge. And so the, the central <laughs> top piece swings open and it's completely hollow room for Tex, uh, sour patch kids in here. Priorities. Let me, let me, let me set the table real quick. Ramey showed us, uh, modeling <laughs> pictures of this, like, I don't know, four, three hours ago, <laughs> four days ago. <laughs> No, no I've yeah, been working, yeah. but I've been working on that model long for a long time. So, and I love that you made it light so you can shove stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, that looks really well, good. It's, yeah. it's, that just good job. It's like it prints. That just means good job. it prints in uh, just a couple of pieces. Um, no supports needed for any of it. And uh, if I can do this without banging the microphone, um, so I've got my season two back plate here, and it's to describe it. It's got like a <coughs> trapezoid type bump out where there's like a back the back plate has some definition to it in detail and i modeled this so that it, it just fits it's like a lego imagine it imagine a backpack right lego it's like a puzzle piece and it so just snaps sick, on and so it, it like that piece inserts into the back plate or the backpack so ingenuity uh, so cool i'm excited about this so so, so mag- cool. magnets or no For, magnets uh there will be magnets yes. so magnets of course <laughs> Yes, and FMs is what we call them. And for anybody that I don't in, need to spell it out. For anybody that's interested, I'm actually working with the uh, the club leadership for the uh, clone trooper detachment, and we're going to make sure oh, we're going to make sure that these files are meet with approval approval status. And I'm going to make them completely free, so anybody will be able to download nice. these and nice. them yourselves. That's sick, dude. What a very cool what a sweetheart. Dude. So, I, so I think this is a good example of how awesome Remy is, right? And so this is the time to kind of highlight the, the coolness that we get to experience hanging with this guy is the generosity, but also the ingenuity, like just super smart, creative, finding ways to do some really cool stuff. And then, as you heard, he wants to give it away. That is awesome, dude. We can, we can edit that out, right? That's not necessary. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate, I, I appreciate the kind words. <laughs> Yeah. 
It, uh, yeah, it's true though. Yeah, you, you you bring a lot to the table always. Yep. Um, and everyone has their own qualities that that they uh, bring that are unique. Yeah, I mean, I, but yeah. I can't. Hence the I bad can't batch. Paint, I can't paint like alpha ignition tests. That's for sure. That's not what I was saying. No. <laughs> No, but like like we've all got different skills. Like Stevens obviously brought a lot of technical skills to being able to help us put this whole production together, right? Which is which dude, is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. This would not be happening. This would not be happening if it weren't for Steven. Yeah, <laughs> this is Steven's love I child. Just, I just signed up for an email, and then all of a sudden this stuff happened. <laughs> no, dude, it's it's like pretty cool. Like on this, I mean, we this is happening pretty fast because we've been talking about it, and all of a sudden within what a couple of weeks, it's like boom, 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 boom. It's all just coming together in a relatively short it's time. Happened. We have theme music. Yeah. <laughs> this is all because Crosshair left us. When you left California, I was just like, Literally. why are you bringing up the band, man? Sorry. Yep. No, I've... go join the Empire. We're good. But we're yeah. still together. Speaking of Crosshair, what's on the workbench this week? Um, I'm still um, tinkering with the... The audio just went weird. Um, I'm still tinkering. No, it's good. It's clear. It sounds, yeah, now it sounds, sounds yeah, better. Clean. Yeah. Um, I'm still tinkering with uh, <laughs> Imperial Crosshair Helmet, messing with a few engineering details I had to mess around with. Not nearly as fancy as what Raimi does. Um, I just make a mess and glue things together and then break things and then re-glue it back together. Um, but probably the cooler thing is I'm, I've been – making a BD droid for Levi forever. And I'm getting like, oh, I'm getting super nice. close to it now. Ooh. So I actually popped some it, stuff on the printer just a little bit ago. I get the legs, like I'm down to like the legs and I just need like a few more tiny pieces. Uh, and then the resin printer that John sent me has been a big help for some of the little tiny pieces. In fact, some of the pieces that I printed previously, I need to reprint because now that the resin printer, it's like, a, it's a lot easier. So. But I was already, oh, dude, like, I, was, yeah. I was already like looking at it and trying to figure out like the assembly and everything on it. And, uh, I was thinking, cause Levi got like an old truck for her first car, trying to like make it paint it the same way. So it'd be like white with like some rust on it. So I'm kind of like already trying to like figure that out, but unless she wants it different, then I'll paint it differently but how she wants it. But is it a BD yeah, BD, one? BD one. A Sorry. Yeah. Will. BD one. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm, so not 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 an OG color. No, no, I messaged Darren, um, Doctor Sci-Fi on Instagram, uh, and be like, "Hey, can you send me some pictures of yours, like just together?" And he like sent me like a full like all the pieces laid out in a in a <laughs> row. Album, like, yes. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's it. That's Awesome. I also yeah. have another question. Uh, if if I send my Amazon wish list to John, <laughs> will that get fulfilled? That was a one time thing. <laughs> Um, it was to, uh, this is, uh, I, I don't know if we should talk, even talk about this on the podcast, but no, don't, I don't know. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Forget it. Yeah. I got him a printer. He likes it. He uses it. Hey, but, That's but, it. but I will say though, for the listeners, like kind of tuning in wondering about the costume that are not sure about costuming, right. Or building stuff. I think what you just heard between Ramey's build and what Crosser's build, just two people deep, we still have the rest of us to go, but how, there's creativity, trying things, like literally being the first one to try something. And then when you need help, Brian reaching out to somebody else that has pictures, references, yep. like that's the community. So, so anybody listening, don't feel like you're, just, oh, I'm, I have no, I don't know where to begin. Just find somebody and start asking questions. Now you're going to have to do some work. Nobody's going to do it for to you. You have to read. You got to read, do research, right? But you know what I mean? So there's balance. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted yeah. to put that and up there. And you don't have to be like, I mean, there's builders out there now that are just like crazy with their paint and their processes. And they're like basically painting a car like with the, and I'm, a, I'm a disaster. <laughs> like I make a huge mess. I use the cheapest stuff I can find. I don't care. A dollar 78, like, 78 cents. Yeah. Paint. Yeah. I mean, we talked about it before the joke of the 10 foot rule. Like how's it look 10 feet away in a picture? Respect to someone that wants to make it like perfect. look insanely perfect and detailed. That is awesome. That's not me. I don't have the time for that. <laughs> so. It looks good. You were having you were having some printer uh, problems too, right? 
your 3D printer is oh, having issues? Yeah, I had a clog. <laughs> How many times did you reprint Omega's helmet? <laughs> I had a clog, and then I fixed the clog, and then the bed wasn't level, and I was like sending you guys pictures and all this stuff, and then, and then the <laughs> what the sensor wasn't working, and the wire was caught, and the sensor. <laughs> just like, that's what people ask about 3D. How many times did you print that helmet? Oh, only twice. Well, it looked like you yeah, did it like five no. times. <laughs> I don't count the wads of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Dude, printing's the worst. That only took you three I days of your tell life. People, and they go, oh, printing. I go, don't do it. <laughs> it's so much frustration. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> and I was hesitant when I sent you that resin printer because so far you've had a great experience which is awesome and, and i'm so happy but you're gonna have a bad one eventually and you're gonna want to throw it out I've, the window i've only it's had a, a couple pain. fails i mean you're gonna, the you're gonna, cool part you're, about when it fails is if it didn't print like you're really not out anything other than time it's not like the spool is like running and there's filament all over and it's a mess and this no. and that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, but the issue is that if if your print has failed and it's going down and hitting uh -oh. the, the the FEP, it's going to poke a hole in it. Eventually, if you, you it leaks on the screen, yeah. So if you have a screen protector, you're fine. You, screen protector. You have to replace the FEP. I need. I need. Yeah. You I need to know about screen protector. protector. Thank you. Dude, that's a must. What you, will, you should have chat. in the chat. In the chat. <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a chat. No, not here. In in oh, our wow, chat. There's a chat. Okay. Which you should look at. Which you should. There is. Which you should look at too. Can people chat? Oh, people can chat here. So um, eventually, we're going to do something live, right? I assume. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that. You're going to talk about that, Stephen. The Watch options, the features. We, we'll, we'll, we've looked we'll at get, that. Yeah. We'll I'm not trying eventually. to read the chat right now, John. Oh, cool. I meant our. Sorry, well, I meant our group chat. chat, not the chat in here. <laughs> is there? A, is there something you know? Blink for you guys. John doesn't zoom meeting at all. Welcome to. It's just as high. I, I don't. Yeah, I you said just talk to us, man. I know, but <laughs> bye. Wow. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Jamie. See, no, I, I, no, no, no. So, I mean, it's just us. But if other people can join, that'd be cool. Anyway, sorry. That would be cool. Right. That's what I'm saying. If we do something live, people could like literally ask us things. It's like that Facebook or uh, Instagram live, but us on a podcast. <laughs> Joe, what's on the workbench for you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I posted a couple of weeks ago. Maybe it was a yeah, a couple of weeks ago. I was building season. So two he's tech, done. Right? He's um, done with season two tech. Here it is. No, <laughs> I wish. Uh, the shoulder. I tried resin, and my my big dummy self didn't make this really thick part hollow. So it's it's a good. It's a pound. It's I weighed it. It's just under one pound. It's like six fifteen and point six ounces. Crap. So I went ahead and just did a good old FDM. So I'm going to redo the shoulders and this is maybe wow. five ounces. Right. And, uh, and I can be the first one to tell you, um, that ounces turn to pounds. And so when you start piling up all this stuff on top of you and then a big freaking backpack like Remy has and what I have, it starts getting heavy. And if you want to troop for four hours and it's a hot day, as you can see where I'm going with this, right? So pretty new shoulders. So I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with these? And maybe this could be like something we do like a giveaway. Like I'll give away some really cool tech shoulders and maybe some other really cool parts, just give away, you know, just maybe, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But, um, but I yeah, it. I mean, I did it. I like, I like the paint job. The, 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 it looks good. the orange, right. It's a thinner. So it looks, it looks good. Tech yeah. is way wider strip the red, but now it's thinner orange. And then on the chest, it actually got wider. So the, the paint's changing, right? Um, that's, that's fun. And then I tried dyeing for the first time, some pants. So tech has, uh, oh, blue. how'd that come out? That actually came out good. So I was, I had multiple colors of blue trying to figure it out and it's hard. We need more images, right? But with what we have, yeah. um, Brian said, get the water freaking hot. So I boiled the water and I looked at it. I'm like, that looks freaking hot. Threw in the pants, <laughs> boiled it for a good minute. Pants came out perfectly colored. You guys help me choose the right color. And then he also has this white stripe. So I'm like, okay, do I have this sewn on? What do I do? I got some spray paint, sprayed it on with some tape, just kind of taped it up. Came out perfect. That but, works, yeah. 
But the pictures I shared with you, the pants are too tight. <laughs> like I like text like like I'm he was to, a hipster. <laughs> he's trying to be that young guy with the man bun and and drinking lattes with the pinky out. It doesn't quite fit. So hey, I, you know what? Someone's gonna draw that. I assume. Yeah. <laughs> what was that description? Oh, no. Yeah. Game? I mean, no, we we can bypass Heck that. With a man behind, we, we, with <laughs> with thin jeans, a skinny jeans, and, and a latte in his hand. Yeah, pinky out. All right. But we're gonna okay. We're gonna okay. we're gonna experiment with pinky some different out. different size pant with not skinny jeans, and we'll figure it out. But yeah, that's what I'm building. I'm building the lower half of tech. That's awesome. Nice. John, did you build anything this week? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kanesh, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't been building much lately. I'm, I'm still working on Hunter Season 2. Um, I just got uh, the scarf. Looks cool. Cole, Cole Brandt. Yeah, it, it's actually really cool. I, he made me one earlier, and it was a little small. I'm like, no, I need to go a little wider to the shoulders, you know. So he made me a second one, and uh, it, it's awesome. Um, and I, I've painted a few of the of the armor pieces, but not many of them. I've plastic dipped the insides. I, think, I don't know if I've talked to, about this before, but uh, it's fiberglass resin, so I, yeah, it's itchy. So you, you plastic dip the inside. Um, the chest is painted, and the back is like primed, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm talking to one of the prop uh, uh, a prop maker in the community that makes really good uh rigs like han solo rigs um corellian like belt not corellian sorry Co- corellian yeah yeah he's awesome dry goods yeah yeah, yeah. you know who he, he is, made right? my yeah, han solo yeah, stuff amazing amazing and uh, right and i've been talking to him about it for a while and um we're waiting on more references, actually, to be honest. So um, as soon as something comes out, he's going to get to work and set me up with a cool rig. Um, but, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Hunter, I'm also painting stuff on the side, as always. But uh, Hunter is uh, the priority because we have, like... Oh, yeah, he has, like, a left. leather holster thing, huh? Did you get ready? That's cool. He has, like, a double Duh. leather holster with, like, a with a metal belt buckle. It's, like, a straight-up, like like freaking beckett giddy up style, cowboy you know double it's it looks rad yeah I'm, I'm excited about it but we need more reference so um as soon as that comes out he'll you know we'll, we'll, we'll get that going but uh yeah i think that's, i think that's, uh i think tech was a bad influence to the batch for season two because he was the only one that had leathers in season one and now we all have them yep for real dude it, i'm telling you tech is smart for a reason right he uh it, Except for Crosshair, he has he knew what he was doing. He less built. leathers. Does he have a leather holster? Uh, yes, but no, he doesn't right? have his whole like shoulder pad strap thing. He only has a belt. That's it. Right. Imperial Crosshair. Right. right. Uh, and pink boots. T- right. TK boots. Pink um, boots. TK boots. <laughs> with, pink boots. I, I saw a picture of it. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I might need to share that. Did you um, did you paint anything else, John, besides Hunter? Not that he can talk about. Did I? No. I paint my hand no. every <laughs> single time. Like whatever I'm doing, every single time. Just it's gonna be messy. I yeah. have I still have CA glue have... on this nail from like a month ago. It's finally growing out. And I bet you have gloves, right? No. Oh, I do. Yeah, but I don't use them. Uh, okay, yeah. I have a box of gloves. I don't even touch them. And I'm always trying to get paint. Now I'm fine, but usually I'm trying to scrub paint off my fingers daily uh, with a box of gloves next to me. PSA, wear gloves. It's don't a good do idea. We do. And Steven, look at and, Steven's and, face. And a respirator, <laughs> right? Steven, what are you working on? Oh, the respirator always. I don't know if it works right, but yeah, I always use it. I was able to plasti dip my wrecker uh, on the interior um, this week, and that's about it. I I was actually I started building something that's not Star Wars related. I started building <laughs> a new computer, uh, which I haven't done in like like ten or twelve years, and like the computer ga- the computer scene now is just like it's crazy. There's like water coolers that are built in and. Every piece is just freaking expensive, but, um, yeah, so I got, like, I'm building a new, like, gaming PC because all this video editing and 
and audio editing is it's taken its hole on my computer, which I thought was good, but <laughs> not good enough, evidently. That's why we our goal needs to be to make um, your editing yeah. job as least as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Life is well, nice. I appreciate it. Oh, and then I did maintenance on my printers. Smart. I I highly recommend to anybody that does uh, 3D printing. Anytime that you you know here in Southern California, when when it's when it's uh, winter, it's hot, and then when it's summer, it's like it's super yeah. hot. Not as hot as yeah. where Crosshair lives, but anytime that you have a, a like a, a weather uh, temperature fluctuation that's like ongoing, you want to like re-level your bed. Um, I swapped out my nozzles. Um, there was one, tubes. one of the 3d. Yeah. One of the 3d printers that I had, I, I, uh, the, the roll of filament had just been sitting there probably for the last like four or five You're months. Right. Not, riddle, yeah. not touched. Yeah. Well, I don't like once, once it gets to that point where I've left it out for Trash. more than like yeah. a month, I just toss yeah, it. You have to. Cause yeah. So you know what you know what yeah. the I mean if you have a vacuum seal machine right like so like the little oh, silicone of course you have packets. one of course you have one oh, Joe. Oh, I'm not fancy. We know. We know. Well, if, I'm when garage, we catch that dude. fresh fish, man, we we vacuum seal it and we put it in the freezer <laughs> so it's fresh. But that machine, I mean, it's big enough you can put your spool in there with the silicone and you preserve your filament. Oh, that's we'll a back. good tip. I'll have to look into that, but uh yeah. So that was good. Um, other than that, I wasn't really building much. I'm still waiting for my backpack to come in for record season two. From the um, Philippines? And my boots. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, stuck, it's, it's stuck somewhere. I think it's stuck in Taiwan or something. Right we now. don't always have to be working on stuff, so, so. it's good. Well, what's cool, though, yeah. is that this is the second round, right? So we've already built right. these characters, and now I think Raimi's looking at lights, adding certain things. Oh, yeah. um, a new a new gauntlet for tech, which Raimi's been gracious enough to kind of design something really cool. I think that's the neat part, right? You build it. Is it going to be exactly the same? Probably not. You're going to want to get a little creative. I mean, I I I think I lucked out out of all the characters because my armor is pretty minimal. It doesn't change much. Uh, the oh, shoulders. Okay changed and Raimi was kind don't, enough to model those for me. Don't say too much. Which is dude. awesome. Don't say too much. What, don't, it, you could be like three episodes in and you could have four different outfits. <laughs> well, okay, so what, what we've seen Sabine. and what we saw from the trailer in uh, yeah, well, Sabine, Sabine, I'm just saying. a seasonal thing. It's I'm not just a, saying. an episodial thing. I'm just saying that from the posters and from the footage we saw um... I lucked out the most because it's like my thigh armor's cut into small pieces. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at what Remy's holding. I can't that see poster, that poster. I, I assume that's going to be their principal armor, and then may, they might upgrade. They might not. They might wear something else for something secret. Who knows? We don't know. But what I assume is that that is the armor they're going to be wearing. Echo with three shoulder uh, pauldrons. Um, Wrecker with uh, uh, looks like he's wearing a whole football American football get up on himself. Everyone's wearing something a little obscure. Um, I think that's gonna be it. So, out of all of us, I think I lucked out because the thigh armor is just you know pieces of of what it used to be, and that was the worst part for me. Like the cod, and there's no cod, and there's no ab, so I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, you're definitely getting in trouble this season. If they made you that mobile, there's some stuff that's probably going to go down. <laughs> I prefer I'm just going to get beat beat up. <laughs> <laughs> he already got his, uh, you know, beat to the draw by Cad Bane, so I don't know how much worse it gets. We're being hailed. This encryption's new. This might take a while. All right, we've got Echo's Hollow Net News. Echo, right, take it away. So, um, and I've got, I know this is an audio podcast, but I've got video effects for anybody that uh, does happen to be able to see the video. So, uh, we had, uh, I don't know if anybody saw, but Mark Hamill used to work uh, back in the day at Jack in the Box and decided to go revisit his roots. And so he was, he was uh, working uh, back at the Jack in the Box. I, I didn't. 
other than that, I know that he did this. I, I don't know a lot of details about uh, what all he did. I'm sure I'm sure it was epic. Can you imagine though? You know, driving driving through the drive through at lunchtime, and uh, I, I I hope he did voices, not even just like Luke Skywalker. Like I hope he did like the Joker. Can you imagine? Can you imagine pulling yeah, up to the drive through and hearing the Joker think, reading reading off your order? I I saw this story and and it, I think the story went that he got fired from that Jack in the Box because he was doing voices, and then when he came back for that day, he did the same voices <laughs> that's, over the that's awesome. over the drive through microphone. That's awesome. So if, I I highly recommend. So I got to hear him do. So he he does. The voice of the Joker in the animation, right? And so, at one of the celebrations, he basically recited the monologue from the Killing Joke in the Joker's voice. I mean, it'll give you goosebumps. It's like it's like listening to Ian McDermott do Shakespeare. That's awesome. So it's it's just that good. So it, uh, so that was. You oh. ever see the movie The Giver? <laughs> no. What that up? Heard great things. Okay. <laughs> He's in that. <laughs> All right. Uh, another news story. So uh, for anybody that uh, follows along with Lego and uh, any of the, uh, the the Lego sets that come out. So it looks like this year's uh, holiday, the, they do the advent calendar every year where like you open up the little window and there's like a little tiny mini kit in there. looks like we're getting the Bad Batch uh, Havoc Marauder yes. as one of the... <laughs> Is one of the items in that's that. cool. So got yeah. a little bad batch love in that set coming up. I would like to say so. if you if we do have visual of this, um, Raimi's little superimposed picture of what he's talking about on his screen is quite fancy. Oh, <laughs> how'd you do that? Yeah. Stephen and I spent all afternoon figuring this out. So I even had Mark Hamill in there when we were talking that's about awesome. him. That's awesome. Oh, and then, yeah, I saw that earlier when you posted it, and I was going to ask, but that's, um, like... that's incredible. So we're, we're a high, we're a high class production operation. <laughs> we're professionals. I so, am for sure. So, and, uh, and, if, so and if superimposing little pictures over my face while I talk isn't cool enough. <gasps> so the next item on the news. So I hope everybody by now has seen the, the trailer for Andor. What's that? Oh yeah. So, well, yes. okay. So. Oh, this whole this whole show is spoiler. What's that? Like, oh, if 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 you're not into spoilers yeah. right now, everybody, if you're not yeah, into spoilers, don't subscribe to the Dad Batch. Yeah, should, should we, we at least give a warning? Oh, give a warning no, before listen, you know, this is it. it. We have no rules. It's, yeah. So, so okay, look, we're gonna, if you <laughs> no haven't rules. seen the trailer, we're we're about to play it right now, so you'll be able to hear it and see it with our commentary, and we can pause it. So, if anybody wants me to pause, I can hit pause or whatever. So, I know that there's a few things that we'll want to kind of talk about along the way so i will get us going here so oh Meh. okay so i wanted to pause it on this <laughs> i knew you were gonna pause it here okay i knew hey, i've actually so i've actually <clears throat> go ahead tech. some stuff like that before no i mean that's <laughs> ak right like is that what it, you're gonna go it is but and yeah and every like there's been a lot of uproar about like, Oh, it's not modified. I mean, it actually is. I'm pretty sure it's not even an AK magazine that they've got clipped in there and they, they changed a lot of details and they, they could have done more, but there's blasters that they have not changed. I mean, the, the DLT 19, the big long rifle Sterling, that's pretty much the way that that gun always was. So I don't know. Come to mind. Yeah. So here, here's something that I had but to I mean, learn. Come on. That, they could have added a hell yeah. scope. That, 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 that would have helped. They should have shortened the barrel. Yeah, they, they did actually shorten the magazine, which is fine, but they should have shortened the barrel. They should have put a scope on it, and that I mean that with just those two three things would have been a huge yeah. change. And they did so. so there's a little why. bit of etiquette that I had to learn coming into the costuming community. Is that's not referred to as a GUN; it's referred to as a blaster, right? This is true. So, like, in like that using, universe, yeah. But but using these terms are important, especially with the environment we're in, right? The society and all that other stuff that's going on, right? So, but I think the point is there's a history going back to 1977 where they take real stuff, slightly modify it, right, Ramey? Yeah. And then throw it in. Yeah, I've got, I mean, I've ordered some weird stuff off of eBay that ends up being parts that are exactly what they used in the movies. So, all right. Okay, hit play. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So we've got a Star Destroyer flying oh. over. Ah, oh, so good. Got the new Disney Plus version of the Star Wars logo, and then we just steal from the Empire. We hear Cassian, and we see like since I was six years old, we see like the six-year-old Cassian crawling around in the in the tunnels. Ooh, the look at the Senate. Senate. I've been in this war since I was six years. So back back to the six-year-old Cassian. John's next costume. Cassian. You, mm. you could pull that off, John. Cassian Ander. Right. Cassian Ander. Clones. We got clones. So, clones. so that's a flash. They look big. And you know what's crazy? There's no neck ring on these. And They're look at the side of their armor. They don't... That's true. Kind yeah, of, there's a split yeah. on the side, which and and which yeah, split on the, the side. Ones we saw in Kenobi had that same split, split for comfort. So I and from what I heard, these are the same clones they used on Kenobi, <laughs> except they were white first. They filmed this first, and then sent them over, and and the Kenobi people painted them, and they used them. From from what I heard, that's certainly possible. I don't. I, the, I can't confirm more. I think the timeline. So works. this is a flashback from when so. he was a kid, right? Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. We, there's clearly two different timelines that we're seeing in these trailers for Andor because we see both an adult and a six-year-old version of Cassian. We see clones. We see stormtroopers. We see at least a couple different ages on uh, on Skellen. Literally. Scar on Kellen Skarsgård. Different Scar ages right now. Character, so. Sorry. 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 All right, so so his ship oh. his ship looks like a derivative of like the Ghost or the Millennium Falcon. So I'm sure it's a Corellian YT something that we haven't seen before. So cool. But, uh, his ship's pretty cool. His I cloak like is too. Cloaks for everybody. Two yeah. tubes. Two tubes. Yep. Two tubes is there. And so. It's cool. So Guerrera looks. Looks maybe a little younger and less beat up than what we see in Rogue One. This is about five or six years before. Yeah. He is, there's no, yeah. there's no breather on his, his hair. face. Well, the breather hangs on his chest. Yeah, but, uh, he like kind of brings it up when, he, no, he, when he needs it. Yeah, you know? it's not there either. It's not. He he looks just a little bit younger in this. So and and I, it's appropriate. I think this is about five, maybe six years before Rogue it's One. Awesome. So. Well, there's two there's two um, Guerreras in Rogue One, right? There's one he rescues. Jen Erso in the beginning and then at the end, right? With the breather. Yep. So Yeah. It's great. Right? Somewhere in there. Oh. That's a, the, the, the drop ships. I thought that was Sam when I first saw that. Oh, oh dog on it. I wanted to show this one spot. Sorry, I'm jumping around. The color palette, and so not, you know, not everybody can see this, but Rebels. this is straight Rebels. out of Rebels, the color palette on these guys. It's a lot of orange and yellow and orange earth, and earth yellow. tones, and, and that guy's got, base, that guy. Didn't Ezra wear yeah, he one of those is, helmets? Just like, it's a different variation on Omega's season two helmet, too. It's very similar. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that so. little tidbit. Yeah, they do a great job with the evolution in these films. She looks awesome. He's more of that fit, that Corellian fit. That Mon Mothma. The Senate. And then this dude, who looks just like Chancellor Valorum from Episode 1, but... It, but, oh, but isn't yeah, yeah. So he, he is he is no no because if you look at the subtitles it's got a different name and this guy doesn't look this uh, guy doesn't look old enough like Valorum should look older at this point so the clothes just kind of look the clothes just kind of look I like assume it. yeah oh. it looks just like yeah that. I assume but but kind of in the same bit like, I I'm the most interested to see what they do with Mon Mothma I something about the way that they're portraying her in this I I think she's gonna be cool. So I I, oh, yeah, I don't for think sure. she's going to be a boring background character that with just a couple. Oh, for sure. Like, she's going to seems like she's going to be like part the fact of it. That they're, yeah, they're using her right. We see her in Rebels showing up in in important parts, right? Um, yeah, 
yeah, there's just the consistency. Yeah, but so good. you know, in, in like the literature and in so, so much stuff, she comes across as being kind of, kind of like a saint, right? I, I think we're going to see her do some, do some stuff in this. Like she's going to authorize some some mission or something that's going to add add a little edge to her character, which I think is going to be great. Well, this is this is going to be twelve episodes, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a lot. It's this more is twelve than episodes, right? It's not enough. We've been getting from the other shows. Yes. If there's twelve, I would, I want I would watch twelve. Ep- I would watch twelve episodes of Mon Mothma doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, I'm into it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, but I I think that there's going to be some interesting <laughs> stuff with her character. So. There was the guy from Spirit of the Way. I'm here for it. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks yeah. so good. Three episode Ooh, premiere. Wait a second. Three episodes, yeah, we get September twenty first on first yeah. on the first day, and it's September twenty first, right? It got moved. Yep. Mm. I was yep. excited for August. Okay, so so what do you guys think? You That's think they moved it? Be- you think they moved it because of like production issues, or the rumor that I heard is they moved it because of Lord of the Rings and uh, other shows from other. Yeah. Competitor companies that, that are coming out. That's what I, I mean. We've seen them move. Uh, we've seen them move stuff around just because yeah. these shows. These shows are done. They're, like they're in the can. Like if it was supposed to come out in three weeks from now, it's like, nah, they're making edits. Done. <laughs> they can. I mean, at, at this point, this this kind of video delivery, the streaming stuff, it's literally dropping a file on a server and it's ready to go. So I. They're making edits based off of what yeah, we exactly. say. They're listening right now. They're this adding podcast. a scope. They're, They're adding so a scope influence. to these rifles right now. <laughs> They're adding yeah. pink TK boots to all Shorter the new phones. The initial, the initial welcome, v- Disney. V1 version of TK has had pink boots. With They're having wings. Cassian say nothing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, they fixed they fixed in Mando, right? In boots. Mando season two, they, <laughs> right, the they did. guy. They did. Didn't yeah. they take him out? Yeah, like he was only there the for weekend? a few days. The same weekend. Did you see that they made a CRL some... of that guy, <laughs> the, the Legion? <laughs> I was, oh, was, was that real? No, it, it was an no. April. It was a joke. But but it was funny to see they had the the blue jeans guy CRL. That was kind of funny. Why did you make me do this? I guess you have a choice. You want a war, or do you want to just give me a gun? My father, he go toilet on my hands. Oh my God. Urine is oh 35 God. degrees Celsius, oh staves off the frostbite. How is this relevant? You know, fathers. <laughs> I did not, I did not hear that All yet. Right. It's amazing. <laughs> what a great intro. You haven't heard it yet? Okay. Um, so oh for God. Hunter's Hard Drive, it's basically going to be me talking about non-Star Wars things and asking the Batchers what um, they think mm-hmm. about it. And this week, I think I'm actually going to throw you guys a curveball. We're not going to talk about what I thought, what I told you guys we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Denis Villeneuve Dune movie. Just real mm. quick, did everyone watch Dune, the new Dune? Yes. Never heard of it. I did. did? All I of you did? I saw that a couple weeks ago. Yes. Blackie? Yeah? Never heard of it. Cool. A lot of dirt. So, I don't like sand. So, uh, ju- just, you know, uh, to explain. Okay, that's, I mean, close enough. Um, I saw the first one a long time ago, and it was kind of weird. I didn't really get it. I hadn't read the books before, but this new one was really uh, cinematic. It was beautiful, and the story was easy to follow. Um and I just want to know what you guys think. If you guys would keep it on the hard drive or delete it. I'd keep uh, it. Let's I'm start with ready for the next one. And I remembered the original Doom. And I always remember being super into it, but it was so slow. And, and like, uh, it, I was young, so it was a little advanced for me. But uh, this new one is awesome. I'm, I 
you bringing this up maybe remember like wait when's the new one coming out because you know it's done it's like lord of the Rings style they shot the whole thing no th- they're filming kind of it production now. They're filming that jeez oh <laughs> a really good I have standards Did they not learn from lord of the rings <laughs> yeah. um all right echo uh i would hey, i hey, would hey. keep it on the hard drive i mean it, that said i mean i i enjoyed the first one it still still holds up um, and I've read all the books, include I mean, and the books start going off the rails after a few of them. Like the, by the time you're looking at at, uh, at his like grandkids and, and their grandkids and stuff, it's it is not the same story that it was when he was around. So, um, but the thing that, that surprised me the most was that this really is only, you know, Crosshair said that it was that the original one was so long, and yet this one was a long film. And it was only half the content of the first film. Like the first film that this is going to be two films. What the first film? I just when did, did the, first, the first? When did the original come so, out? It's the eighties. Uh, I think it was. I, I I might be wrong. So I remember it was very young. Well, I think it was eighty eight. Wasn't it? So yeah, it comes to mind. It yeah, was just hard. Was, to, uh, I just remember. I think I was just too young for it. It was just the, hard. To, it was hard. The Emperor's I think because it, it was up against like Star, Star Wars and stuff like that. Save. That was a little bit more like action packed. And... Yeah, and the materials. Yeah, the materials well, heavy, and there's a lot of words in it that yeah. like like you really gotta. You've almost got to read it to really absorb all of the. the you need to know the, the weird lore. words right. that they use in the dialogue because it, it doesn't make sense unless you've kind of gone through it a few times. Um, but I thought, like, visually stunning. The audio work on it was amazing. So it's a well-done film. Keep it. Yeah. And not only that, uh, George Lucas was influenced a lot by the books and um, because he got a lot of his ideas and, and others from, Tatooine. you know, he was definitely inspired. Yeah. Um, what about you, Joe? What do you think? The music, obviously the visuals, but the music just pulled it all together right it's it, it just reminding me of how epic star wars is because of john williams right the music great visuals but those themes are just so heavy and it's all about the the goosebump effect and just being involved um i love the sounds too um i can't remember the, the bad guy is it baron something Arconin. i can't remember his name the bad guy right yes yeah, when, the just when when his body like rises, it's like this mechanical crunching sound as his yeah. body levitates and floats. It's just oh, it's just so out there, and I think that's what's fascinating. It's something that we're watching, hearing, observing that isn't recycled from somewhere else. I think that's what I appeal. That's what appealed to me the most. Nice. And what about you, Stephen? What do you think about it? Honestly, I was like completely before I watched it. I was completely one hundred percent like anti Dune. Really? Because wow, growing up, I had I had I had never, which is totally unfair because I never watched it. I never read it. All I knew of Dune was that it was boring. Uh, it was slow, and it was a rip off of Star Wars. Is what my older brother would tell mm. me. <laughs> And then, so like, you you know, know. the only reason that I even watched it. Yeah. The only reason I even watched it is because I had nothing to do on a Sunday and I was just completely like, there was nothing on TV except for that. It was on HBO max and you, John, I think you had started building your still suit. Yeah. And I was like, all right, you know what? Like I've got a few hours to kill. Let me just do this. And by the end of it, I just like mind blown this is what you know people in the 70s must have felt like when they saw star wars for the first time it was like it's an experience and then i felt empty afterwards because i was just like i need they did a really right now. right <laughs> i didn't know there was going to be a part did you so, know yeah, there was no, going to be a part two yeah because in the beginning it says i would definitely keep good. it good excellent um and yes joe on the beginning of the film right when when the title dune shows up Right at the bottom, it says part one very briefly, and then everything disappears. But but that's so, what yeah. I mean. Like when I when, like going into the movie theater, I'm thinking this is going to be the movie. Great, but same. No, right away, well, well, right away, yeah. it tempts you with, oh, there's going to be more it, after this. It's half. It's half the first story because the first film awesome. w- was the whole. That yeah, was the whole. Um, the one from the '80s was the whole story of that. Of, uh, that was supposed to be part one and two, but uh, I I think they got away with it because they narrated most of the film over the you know. 
it was uh, Kyle McLaughlin. He he was um, he was Paul Atreides, and he was speaking most most of the time over over the movie. And you can yeah. you can you know he'd explain things and and you know tell you about something that might be happening soon with, with certain and that didn't names happen that you've here, never right? heard so. before. No, and it didn't. Right now, it was more like you figured it out yourself. You hear the names, you hear them speak it. And, and you can follow it, though. That's the thing. It's it's not hard to understand what's going on. And it's a really intriguing story. And, and you know, uh, it worked. That, that's why. Yeah, that's why I chose it for uh, this week's Hunter's Hard Drive. So thank you guys. Oh, yes. Right. So that's five thumbs, thumbs up. True. So hey, good. Big Daddy Poe. <laughs> and this came out. This was one of the f- movies that came out during like 2020, yes. right? It was. That's uh, why I wish they would have filmed it all in the beginning because. <laughs> Oof. Probability of them blowing part two is high. Mm. Do you think that I'm it would have correction like, had a different correction? It's twenty twenty one, not twenty twenty. Well, I mean, you know, I don't think movie theaters were still open. Close by enough, then, right? I guess. Yeah. No, no, it was. It... But do you do you think it okay, the last okay. two years counts as? Do 20. you think it would have had a different reception? I saw it in the theater. In I saw it in the theater. Wait, the I think it was in theaters. I, it was. It, it, it was uh, briefly in I theaters. Think it was, yeah. yeah, I saw it in theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was. Uh, people had a better experience in the theater because it was just so grand and so. Yep. The world building was just insane. You know, it was just. Dude, I saw it in IMAX in the Boston Theater. Insane! It wow, was massive! It was so good. Oh, yeah, so good. Okay, if they were if they, when they when they release part yes. two, they need to re-release part one in IMAX. Yeah, I'm I'm and, and do a marathon. I am in. Like, That'd yeah. be pretty cool. Six hours. Yeah, <laughs> you could rent a theater and ask them, "Hey, play these." And do that. Hey. Oh, we should do that. That's the plan. Yeah, Brian, get your Vader armor, fly over in it, yeah, wearing it, and we'll rent out two theaters. That. <laughs> I'm not answering that. <laughs> Jeez. It's my still suit. And it was uh, ni- Very 1984 still. was the release yeah, date. See, the right after Return of the Jedi. So Okay, 84. Right oh, after Return of the Jedi. 84. Ooh, they obviously the copied this. It was creepy, early. too. Airwolf. The original. The A-Team. That's good, though. Yep. Y'all, five thumbs up on that one. It was creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Republic. Empire. What's the difference? Conversations with Crosshair. <laughs> our content may be low, but our <laughs> production value is all time. So <laughs> top notch. There, and that's my section. <laughs> my gosh. So this is going to be uh, Brian's weekly, uh, or not even weekly, right? This, this is, is whatever I'm wa- This is whatever I want to talk about. <laughs> Sure. Hands up. <laughs> I don't know. So. All right. What do you want to talk about, Brian? You know, sometimes we talked about this and we said, what do you want to talk about? I said, some days I might say nothing. I might say, fine. And that's it. Or sometimes I might talk about something. Oh. <laughs> uh, so for this week or uh, this episode, uh, we went to Raleigh Comic Con which I thought Raleigh was a two hour drive. It was like two and 45 almost. <laughs> so that, that kind of set the day on a different tone. Um, but the con was super cool. It was cool to go to, but, um, definitely my family and I were kind of like, I mean, celebration wasn't that long ago, a few months ago, but to have like a big adventure to get to a con, it was a cool con. It was, we had fun. The, the, uh, my wife and daughter dressed up in their night owls and, uh, walked around for a little while. And I kind of wrangled them and we hung out at the like 501st area, which they kind of had like a whole setup, which was, was pretty cool. They had like all the clubs kind of in a room, but it was like kind of off to the side, not really near the con floor too. So that was like a little bit harder to get to, but, um, mm-hmm. uh, but the con was actually like pretty big. It was called galaxy con Raleigh galaxy con. And, um, I guess it's like one of the, yep. Oh, I saw that. Yes. That's, uh, who, Ashley Eckstein was there up, and we and, ended uh, up Matt uh, Lanter and going down there. Arnold we, Taylor. we would get suited up and we'd kind of like go walk the, uh, photo, like where they would sign autographs and stuff and kind of like 
walk around. I was like, the aisles were really narrow at this con. So like walking was like pretty tough. Um, but the photo area was like bigger and it was funny cause we went over there and Ashley just had like a thick line the whole time. But Matt was just like sitting there <laughs> with nobody. <laughs> and Tori was like, Oh Matt, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody. Oh, Ashley no way. Had like Matt Lancer had no 50 line people deep. And, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, Matt's over there. Maybe we should try to bug him. And I was like, I mean, you got to pay for pictures. And I mean, after, after Star Wars celebration, we took pictures with Emily Swallow. We were just kind of like, I don't know. It was just, it's just a weird experience. It's just not, that's just not what we're into. But, um, she was like, oh, I'm going to go talk to him. And she went and talked to him and she was like, can we take a picture? And it wasn't, I think picture day was like the day before. And this was like autograph day. I don't know, whatever. Um, and he was like, yeah, w w sure. Yeah, whatever. So like we jumped in and took a picture with him and, and, uh, Tori chit chatted with him for a second. And that was kind of funny, but, um, this con was funny. It was, uh, uh, there was a lot of vendors with the common themes were like gaming dice, like giant booths with gaming dice like all different kinds, like crazy. I was like, this booth is all dice. This is crazy. Like a 10 by 30 booth of dice <laughs> Legos, like custom Lego figures, like sheets and sheets of figures. So I said, Ramey showed the like advent calendar thing. Like there was just a 30 foot table with just little custom figures of everything, anything. Marvel, Star Wars, Harry Potter, whatever. And then, um, holographic artwork, <laughs> like booths of booths with holographic artwork and anime ruled this show. Like it was every kid there was anime it, with the exception hmm. of being, I probably saw 37 Eddie Munson's from stranger things. Like literally <laughs> dudes, girls, kids. That's going to be Halloween. Old, young. Yeah. All everybody. There... It was, it, that was a popular oh, yeah. one at Comic-Con too. It was a, it's a, hot, a lot, hot, a lot of black wigs, character. a lot of real Low hair. costume. Um, but it was fun. We had a good time. It was cool. To, good to go to a con. Um, the drive kind of, kind of sucked, but, um, we definitely agreed we should hold off on going to another con for a little bit. Although we've been talking about trying to go to, uh, dragon con or, or NYCC, which are two cool ones. Dragon cons coming up in Ooh. September. I don't think we're going to make that. That's going to take a little bit more planning. Cause it's such a big Ooh. one. Yeah. That, that one, you need, to do, uh, about, you need um, to do New York comic con, to do that. New York city comic con, which one? Yeah. Yeah, NYCC, New York Comic Con. Oh, it's in October. Yeah, I'm going to be there in New York City. That's, but it'll be that's not going to cut it. I'll make a pact with you, right? No, nope, make a pact with you, Crosshair. Next yeah. year, not not this year because it's too late. Next year, we'll fly out yes. to Dragon Con Perfect. if you guys come. Yeah, it'll be cool. It was cool though. I I I got right. to wear Crosshair for a little bit, um, which was fun because I didn't, <clears throat> I haven't worn it since Celebration, and I fixed a couple of the things that were wrong with it, um, that broke from the the be getting lost and everything. And then, um, uh, is it her name? Lauren Joe, Lauren, she's the tech. Yep. Yep. She, she's the tech mm -hmm. out there. The, and the other tech. She yeah, has she's hurt awesome. her ankle. She's great. Um, she's, so she she's couldn't got really a great walk build. around, but she threw it on. Yeah. Um, so we could get a couple pictures together. Oh, so no. that was cool. Um, I felt like I was cheating on you, but it was cool. So yeah, she looks great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I, it's it's an it open cool. uh, relationship. Cool. She was like, I've yeah. never. She's like, I've never suited up with another oh. bad batch. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was fun. So, but it it was awesome. Like uh, the night owls and bad batch were both like pretty popular. Like people were pretty stoked. So that was cool. But con life's fun. Heck yeah, man. That's it for my amazing section. So sometimes I will baffle you with brilliance. <laughs> And then other times, that's awesome, man. It'll be nothing. Yes, John, Still back away from that one. Thank you. 
All right, guys, that pretty much does it for episode one. Another happy landing. If you like what we do, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, or whatever your preferred podcatcher of choice may be. Leave us a good uh, review. It helps the algorithm. Uh, You can email us at dadbatchpod at gmail.com and interact with us at dadbatchpod on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and we've got a YouTube channel coming very soon. Be sure to check out our merch page where you can get t-shirts, stickers, buttons, gaming mouse pads, and even a shower <laughs> curtain of all five of our silhouettes. All the super popular things. You can follow me at, uh, at Stevie Kicks easy. on all the socials. And uh, Brian, where can people find you? At and John? Alpha Ignition. And Joe, Tech where can people find you? At Batch. Uh, well, it's, I didn't Rainy, exactly make it easy, so Arshanaday is my uh, Instagram handle. The easiest way to figure that out is to find follow one of these other fine gentlemen and uh, find my link from there. Uh, echo. Awesome. Well, thank you again, everybody, for listening to the Dad Batch podcast. We can't wait to show you what we have coming in the <laughs> following weeks uh, if we do this again. <laughs> and until next time, oh, remember... Good soldiers follow orders.